All right, now it's really time to start taking care of those bushings. Forgot to show you, so this moves. Won't be able to move it now, but you can trust me on this. Guys, I don't believe this. The bolt is actually spinning. Wow. But I believe the bolt's supposed to go from this side. So this has been most likely replaced. But you see anything wrong with this picture? Now look closer. What do you see here? This is supposed to be knocked in into this cutout, into the CV axle. I'm gonna to have to check the other side so the nut doesn't spin doesn't you know spin out. the cut parking brake line I was talking about which I am not supposed to address so if I take this out am I going to be able to move this out okay let's take these out actually Forgot to disconnect the brake line. There we go. So now I actually have access to the bushing because now we can take a look at it. Look at the movement. I mean, I can move it with my fingers. This one not so much, a little bit less. A block of wood on the bottom so it doesn't stress too much. The bushings. You see this? This one was worked on before. You can see hammer marks right over here. And this one's been on here for a while. So maybe they replaced on this one and not this one. Don't know. Or maybe some generic, not original bushings. Who knows? Alright, we're going to use this ball joint service kit or remover and installer to remove those bushings. So that didn't work. take this control arm off because I need to take well two bolts but two rusty nuts and bolts and that's part of the alignment this one over there so I was hoping I could get away without if I try push it from this side or I have another idea Alright, one bushing out, three to go. Oh, 
man, doing that on the floor. Not good. All right, so I'm going to continue. Hopefully, I pray, I'm going to have an easy time taking that Jesus bolt out on the other side. But more or less, half the battle is over. And if anything comes up, I'll let you know. Guys, I, I kind of missed hitting record. I wanted to show you what my setup was, taking those uh, bushings out. I wanted to show you how I did the other side, because I found this brace from whatever it may be, and it fits right... Well, the bushing fits right through it, so this side here. So what I did, so I took this brace, put it right here, like so. And I took this, what is this, 20, 22 mil socket impact, and I fitted this this way in, so it wouldn't fall off. And imagine this being the, you know, the, the bushing, the end of the control arm. And uh, that was it, that pushed the bushing out, went right through there inside this tool here. And I got the whole thing out. And look at this, this is the bad one. This is actually the one that had the slack. This, this thing is shot. I mean, this rubber, it's almost non, non-existent on this side. There's some left on this side, but this is really thin. Anyway, so I can now measure this and whatnot and get a set. And then I decided not to do this side because this side is actually good. The wheel does not move at all side to side. So these, these bushings, I mean, they are old, most likely original, but they're fine. And the Jesus bolt on this one, it is actually, the nut is on this side and the bolt is on this side, obviously. On the other side, it was the other way around. So they were messing with that side, you know, sometime before. That's why the bolt came out. This one won't budge at all. So I thought I'd do the right thing and not do it. Got this guy out. This is new, super tight. Guys, these don't have to be he-man tight, okay? But I managed to take them out. So now outside is basically taking stuff off is done. Gotta move on the inside.